On the planet Earth, the smartest man in the world writes about a cartoon show made- You know, sometimes being a Superman fan is hard. I mean, it's not as hard as starving in a third world country, but the character, despite being the most recognizable American symbol since Mr. Bean, it often feels like he's second fiddle to Batman, who gets all the best video games, cartoons, and movies. As a result, Superman as a brand tends to lack a cohesive vision from his corporate owners. The logic of his stuff tends to be, hey, if it worked for Batman, then and we work for Superman. However, for Superman the anime series, it's... Look at me talking about Superman like he's a real person. How do you write a good Superman story? I'd argue there's three approaches. Either you forget about the powers and you focus on the feelings of the man, like Superman's loneliness, his sense of alienation as an immigrant, or him accepting the very concept of mortality, either from himself or others. Alternatively, you can focus on the raw satisfaction of seeing Superman's power save the day, where the framing of the situation and often the POV of those around him is what gives him inspiration inspirational power. The third option is that you hire Axel Braun. This is a broad simplification, but in other words, you either make Superman a real character with insecurities or you make him abstract. A fantastic example of the former is the DCAU interpretation. Well, Lois, the truth is I'm actually Superman in disguise, and I only pretend to be a journalist in order to hear about disasters as they happen and then squeeze you out of the byline. He's charming, witty, funny, he's a solid guy who has anger issues. Clark's relationship with Lois is also hysterical, and without sounding like a creep, it's kinda hot. Not as hot as sunflowers. Tim Daly gives a beautiful, calm voice to the character, and there's an appropriate feeling of warmth to his world. Here, I made you a thank you gift. Metropolis feels like the city of tomorrow, protected and shaped by the man of tomorrow. Too bad that it's very distracting how Superman gets his ass chunked in so many episodes. There's a weird formula throughout the season. A bad guy schemes or have their origin, they beat up Superman with pretty mundane stuff, like fucking helicopter machine guns. And then Superman turns the tide. So at the very end, there's a bit with Clark and Lois just having a laugh. Are you jealous? He's Superman. When the show is great, this formula is a real romp. <clears throat> but when it's used as a clear crutch, the show becomes as memorable as one of my videos. My favorite episode is The Late Mr. Kent, where Clark finds evidence that frees a dude on death row, but his car gets f blown up and he's considered dead. All this happened because freeing the dude was something Superman wanted for Clark. I wanted this to be Clark's victory. Not Superman's. You know that speech in Kill Bill where Kill Bill talks about how Clark is Superman's parody of all that humanity is to him. A weak, pathetic joke. Real Superman is kind of the inversion of that. Clark is everything Superman loves and idolizes in humanity. If we break it down with Carl Rogers' self-concept theory, then Superman's self-image is, well, Superman. He knows who he physically is, his powers and his social role as the last of his people and culture. But that also means he sees himself as an outsider an immigrant who despite looking human, isn't. Because every aspect of himself is controlled. I feel like I live in a world made of cardboard, never allowing myself to lose control, even for a moment or someone could die. But it's through his wish to be human, to not be the Superman, but the brave one, he finds his ideal self. You're much stronger and faster than a normal human being. I am a normal human being. The ideal self being the person he wants to be, with all of his attributes he works towards. And that's Clark Kent's. But I am Clark. I need to be Clark. I'd go crazy if I had to be Superman all the time. When Clark puts on the glasses, help his fellow man without his powers, work late, drive, hang out with Lois and Jimmy and get made fun of by those around him, it's very much all therapeutic for his sense of self. I found Walker's alibi. It's all here on a little computer disc. One of the most important moments that reveals this is at Dan Turpin's funeral, where he says, In the end, the world didn't really need a Superman, just a brave one. He doesn't see himself as his powers. His powers doesn't make him inhuman, but it's his responsibility with them that makes him more human. And it's by the pursuit of being human, Superman has the self-esteem to bring his ideal self and his self-image closer together. It's beautiful stuff. I feel all mushy just from talking about it. So of course the show proceeds to break your heart with 
doesn't matter. Darkseid brainwashes Superman with fake memories and is turned against humanity. Of course it doesn't work out, but in the aftermath, Superman completely loses the trust of the American government. They say he's lost Earth's trust, but you still have Britain on your side, Superman. Superman even loses Professor Hamilton's trust. All this and the parallel universe stuff eventually sets up Cadmus, but right now, Superman goes to Apocalypse for revenge. He beats the shit out of Darkseid and liberates his slaves. But much to his confusion, they look after Darkseid. I am many things, Kal-El. But here, I am God. Darkseid is everything Superman is not. He's a douchebag who seeks to be worshipped and is thus worshipped by his subordinates. But Superman seeks the opposite, to be a member of them. You won't get it without a fight! People of Earth aren't like your slaves on Apocalypse. They don't take kindly to dictators. A dimension also reflected by his f***ing bro love for Batman and the eventual Justice League. But before then, Superman is now a controversial figure. Everything he's built is gone in the blink of an eye, including his sponsorship with Manscaped. However, Lois is there to inspire him, to carry on as he is. Hanging up the cape or becoming an evil dictator is not on the table. Doing anything different would be untrue to himself. The final moments of the show doesn't give us any further comforting conclusion. We don't see the change in humanity's opinion, just a promise of its possibility, which is technically then fulfilled with Justice League. But the show doesn't need it, because what this version of Clark and Superman shows us is that the effort is more important than the reward. I did lose control, and it scares me. If I can't trust myself, how can I win back the trust of an entire planet? One person at a time. There's often a dismissive attitude towards Superman being too f***ing good to be interesting. But what we can learn from the ups and downs of Superman the Anime series is that having so much power amongst people you want to desperately be a member of can be painful. A good heart in trying your best to do the right thing is lonely, frustrating, but living with that frustration and finding yourself within it, a version of yourself to value. Perhaps it isn't Superman that's super, it's Clark Kent. <laughs> Man, it's genuinely hard being so sincere. What is a video you'd like to make, but the topic isn't in fad anymore right now? Star Wars! It's obviously still very popular and there's a massive YouTube media industry around it, but there's two videos I really really want to do, but I don't think there's a place within the current angry industrial complex. An essay about the academic stuff around deconstructive and reconstructive nostalgia in relations to the sequel trilogy, and a mythology study of all nine films, specifically how the original trilogy has Taoist themes while the prequel is more Abrahamic and then try and figure out where the sequel trilogy fits in. These would be extremely, extremely, extremely academically focused and I've been writing them for years in the background just for fun, but, but yeah, maybe one day when things cool down. So in other words, you'll be in the next 20 years. <laughs> Come on, let me have another. Right here, right here. <laughs>